What we, what Judy and I discovered as we were trying to answer these kind of questions is that there is a thing, such a thing called good nudity. And I use the term good nudity because I'm differentiating it from not necessarily bad nudity, but sexual nudity. Um, as was said earlier, a lot of times our first experiences with the naked form are that of sexuality. Often our first experiences with being touched by someone uh, in a way that wasn't, well, it was, you know, especially when you're a little kid, you're, you're conflicted whether it was good or bad or whatever, but it was a sexual touch. So there is such a thing as good nudity and also good touch. Um, and what we found is that a clothing optional per experience provides the following things. First of all, we've been talking about it for this whole class. It provides body acceptance. And here's what I've put down for this. Our culture has been brainwashed by the Madison Avenue fashion experts who tell us in picture and words what a perfect body is like. Realize that's what they do. They tell you what a perfect body is like. How many times have you looked in the mirror and thought disparagingly about your body? Not enough muscle, undefined abs, or in my case, I don't have a six pack, I have a cake. <laughs> too little breasts, too wide hips, not enough hair, too much hair, and so it goes. A clothing optional context can put you in touch with your body and you get to see that others are just like you. Plus you realize that the supermodels in life are really not that pretty new. Did you hear what I said? The supermodels in our world are really not that pretty new. And that the magazine centerfolds are definitely airbrushed. Bottom line, you realize it really doesn't matter what you look like. Body acceptance. We've hit on the second thing that we learned in this journey of ours. The second thing is body demystification. We are all curious humans, at least. I would say, I'm curious. And a clothing optional context allows the body to be seen and thus demystified. You see what the clothes are covering. And once the discovery happens, you realize that, gosh, the male and female form, while it is different, and while there's different types of male and female forms, you know what? We all pretty much got the same pieces of parts. And as Judy said in her time, the age bracket from like you know 18 to 28 or, or early 30s, well, and some of you aren't even satisfied in that bracket, right? Maybe not you, but people that you know. And that span of our life where we hit that best we could ever be is oh so short. The scars come upon us through accidents, through surgeries. Events happen that alter us. And uh, everybody, everybody is beautiful. And that while we're all the same, we're also different.